Okay, well, this is the um, clinic over here. And the small pens, we've looked at it from a few different angles. The wire's going up and it's getting very close to us being able to start thinking about moving some of the animals out here to the Somaliland CCFs. Cheetah Rescue and Conservation Center. It's coming to life and it's pretty exciting. Um, and I have to say, this is a great celebration for International Cheetah Day. So these are the cubbing pens. This is the outside area. They're putting electric on it right now. I'm gonna go on in and see what the inside pens look like, which is very, very important. Clinic door. We're in Kanabli, and these are the um, cheetah pens clinic. Um, and so we've, these are gonna be the tiny cup pens. Um, we're in the cheetah cup baby area. Okay, so this is the back side of the clinic and the other cheetah pens. And they just, they look really nice compared to what it looked like uh, when we were laying it all out. Again, that's the back of the clinic. Well, this is our clinic and I'm very, very pleased. When I was here before, we had nothing. And so we've had all the cabinets built. Um, that would be a pharmacy, a small office, um, our exam room. This is the exam room, basically. Um, we've got these wonderful sinks that came in from Kenya, which we couldn't get sinks here in small land. But I'm just really pleased just the fact that we've got good countertops. I think they'll hopefully last. Durable, cleanable, durable, cleanable. Yeah, this is um, Lindsay and Kathy, I think, to see that the clinic's coming along here. Very nice. So we're really pleased. And then Lindsay Zavet from Namibia. Yes, yes, I'm Lindsay, I'm the head vet here at CCF Somaliland, and I'm from Namibia. So, this is the lab, and the storage units, um, a good sink, we got the sink in from Kenya. Very nice, very nice lab. This is Khalif, and he's who's been in charge out here. And then this is our Cali from town. And he's running a whole fence crew out here and has made it all work. He's been with us for, I don't know, almost three years. And look at what he's done. Woohoo! Okay, well, that's our solar structure for here. Our batteries, and it's all contained here. And it, it's enough, right, Chris? Absolutely. Well, this is our kitchen. And it looks very nice too. Another one of these cool sinks we've got from Kenya. There's the outside. Open the window. This is our water filter system, Chris. Yes, this is a system we source locally. It's got some sand filters on, your purification filters, and there is a UV unit somewhere in here as well to give us 99.9% .9 pure water. Oh, this is the UV unit at the back here. Um, and then we've got a water tank where all the staff can come and fill their water bottles up. And there should be a line going into the kitchen for the kitchen staff to get drinking water. That's amazing. And now we've got a sink out here as well. And this is where staff can wash their own dishes. Yeah, exactly. yep. And um, they get the, from the kitchen. This is the um, area the green tank will be moving. And then this is our eating area. And this is where everybody gets to sit and look at the beautiful view while they're having their meals. Okay, here we are at the barn area. And just again, giving a different perspective. Cheetah pens over there, baby pens, clinic at the end, and then housing for staff. Manager's house. Our big water tanks, there's the eating house, water tanks, another staff house. Okay, so this is um, one of the pens. This is what we call the management area, a holding area, going out into a larger area through that gate over there. This is one of the smaller pens, probably a hectare or so. Okay, enclosure two. And, and this one is about four hectares. So there's a sneeze between um, four yeah. and five, yeah. 
or no, this is five and six. Five and the guys are working on six right now, and that's the holding area, the, the holding management areas. area, and going in. How big is this pen then? Yeah, that's, that was getting over three hectares. About three hectares as well.